Guten Morgen. Wie geht's dem Moi Dieter? Ich bin Dieter. Ça va? Ah, ça va, me and Dieter and Picasso. His alter ego. I, I, I haven't decided if uh, Dieter's going to be the one with. Uh, maybe I should get a, a distinctive Picasso voice. Dieter's going to be the curly haired, just out of the shower guy, and Picasso's going to be the guy wearing hats or whatever. But it's a work in progress. Anyway, I hope you're doing well. Be careful what you comment on, because, uh, no, actually, Dita, this is about um, proper left-hand technique, primarily, uh, with a few other things thrown in, because, you know, uh, Dita and Pick don't rehearse any of this stuff. So, uh, Glyn44, I believe, or 42, commented on one of my videos the other day. He said he was classically trained, and he said, uh, my left hand technique was terrible, and how can you play anything complicated with that? So yes, I agree. Uh, on some of my videos, my left hand technique leaves much to be desired. But in my defense, I will uh, comment on that. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, see, this is why I like, uh, there's nothing wrong with constructive criticism. I appreciate because it, it points out things I may I may not be aware of. I told you before, I, I used to try and do these things polished and then I just got too frustrated because I would always make a mistake. I got nervous when I pushed record. So that's why 99% of what you see here is not rehearsed at all. Sometimes if it's a difficult thing I might go that I've never tried before, I might go over it a few times before I push record, but I just go, you literally should go fuck it and just do it. Uh, so. In response to a proper left-hand technique, and, so, and sometimes I, you know, I'm just shooting off the cuff. So sometimes I say, oh, don't worry about this. But it, when it actually is something you should worry about, what I mean to say in, this, in the spur, heat of the moment is, don't let that, don't let what you're thinking about um, inhibit you from actually stretching yourself or trying yourself. So in response to uh, uh, a couple, I'm sure he's not the only player out there that has some stuff. And the other thing is, is my, my videos aren't for pros. If you're a pro, you should be able to figure anything out for, you, for yourself. You don't need to watch my shit unless you want to laugh, and that's fine. My stuff is mostly for beginners and intermediate players and people like myself that used to play a fair bit and just haven't in years and are getting back into it because I'm, I'm mostly a painter now, but and, and, and I do things in spurts, so I go from, oh, I'll paint for like... I think last month I did like nine paintings in like uh, two weeks. And I haven't touched a paintbrush in, in two weeks now and uh, guitars and I, that's just how I am. I'm a guitar now and maybe tomorrow I'll decide to paint for a month. Who knows, uh, it's just what it is. Um, so a few things, uh, I'm trying to stretch myself and um, uh, a little bit about my setup. It's, it's not professional here. so. When, I'm, when, I'm, when I do my videos, I prefer to sit on a stool with my back up and holding the guitar cradled over my left leg. Basically, the, the, the true classical position is how I prefer to play both my acoustics and my electrics. And maybe I'll do a video about that sometime. But not, not everything's the same, and I do have exceptionally big hands. So I'll get, get to why I'm talking about this, because not everything is... Not all things are created equal. These are big mitts. Um, so I usually put my electric guitars, or my classicals when I do my videos, on these things called a dinerette. And if you see, they're, they're two sizes. And they're vinyl, and uh, they're spelt here so they don't slip off. See, they go down on your knee here, so they don't slip off. And I have two sizes, when I do my videos, I'll, I'll sit a guitar on it like this. So I'm trying to get a good camera angle for you. Now I find uh, you can't see my foot, but I, I, I prefer to have a classical footrest down here. If you can see that. But what lo oftentimes what I'm doing is I, I'm on my tiptoes. And so when I do these videos off the cuff, what happens is the guitar tends to sometimes slip away. And a thing I do, uh, 
Glenn, uh, whatever, 42 called us, uh, choke that snake, which is a good term. So lots of times to, to keep the guitar from either rotating this way, falling forward or slipping, I will, because I have a big hand, I'll just catch it here with my thumb. So that's not, that is not good technique. So, but, so good technique, this is classical. It should be, if I'm playing in the first position or the open position, your thumb should be about in the middle of the back of the neck between, uh, it, about in the middle of the second fret so that you have this nice uh, space here so that your fingers can retch and <laughs> retch, reach and stretch all that way. And I am aware of that. That, that is how you, will, you finger difficult things, right? Lots of times you'll see when I'm fingering chords, I, I'm like this, right? It's not good technique, it's sloppy, but th there's a reason I do that. And sometimes I fall into that habit, right? But you'll notice when I'm, when I'm, lots of times I'm, okay, like that's proper fingering there. I think anyone will agree with that. My thumb isn't over here. If my thumb was here, I couldn't play that chord properly. So, so sometimes you may notice, I'm not making excuses, I'm just telling you how it is. Uh, sometimes you may notice my thumb here, but that's usually when I'm playing just the bottom three strings. And it's usually because I'm trying to keep my guitar in a good position because I don't have a, a good setup here. So hopefully that explains that for you. So proper technique is this. And, and also because I have big hands, see this has a two inch wide neck. So I prefer to show things and learn things on my classical guitars. And I'm not a snob. And because I like everything, I do like lots of different things. Now there's no way I could play those chords if I have my th hang my thumb there, right? So if we switch to my electric guitars, which have a narrower neck, I believe one and eleven sixteenths, you'll see it better what I mean here. Uh, Proper technique always works. See? And it's just, uh, this is a position I prefer to play in and it's comfortable. Sometimes though, when I'm uh, doing a video, I, I, I want to show you what I'm doing. So I'm, I'm slowly tweaking that, trying to get, I've lowered my tripod quite a bit put it in a different place so that I can show more of uh, what I'm doing because uh, you will notice uh, you never see Dita going oh please hit subscribe uh, it helps with the algorithms um, I'm, I, I, I don't really care about views like I said uh, one of my other videos if I got a dozen people a day or more that are watching this like and are beginners or intermediates like me and they're just trying to have fun and get back into it. That's what basically my videos are for. And I, I enjoy doing this. So hopefully that ha helps because Dita and Pick also like to help. So yeah, uh, if uh, you watch any of my other stuff and you go, well, this isn't important. Uh, sometimes it, prob it probably is important. And uh, that's why I encourage comments if they're, uh, you can make them humorous and you can say, like, uh, I actually thought it was funny. Uh, I, I take no offense when someone says, you know, your left hand technique is awful because what he saw was uh, poor technique. So that's totally valid. And I appreciate that kind of thing. And it made me do another video, see? So uh, explaining things because oftentimes, because I don't rehearse this stuff, I, I don't make notes and say, okay, I'm going to talk about this, talk about this, talk about this. It's just what comes up. And uh, the reason I'm not doing these polished videos is, is, is the last dozen or so videos. I'm, I'm, I'm learning songs I never learned before. And usually my, my old system, I'm just trying to break habits and encourage you to do the same because it might get you out of rut because I'm enjoying it more because I always, because of my big hands, would always pick up my classicals first to learn songs. And it's easier for me. So now I'm trying to learn these steely dance songs and stuff on my electric guitars 
because it's uh, because I find it more difficult because the strings are closer together and I have big hands. So uh, see, there's not everything's created equal. So um, you know, you uh, sometimes uh, what might may be inhibiting you is simply that uh, is simply you know you, you've got a guitar that's too big or too small for you. If you have big hands, maybe you should get a classical and, and play a classical. And if you have smaller hands, maybe you might have more fun on a, on a parlor guitar with, with a one and three quarter neck or smaller, because I'm gonna show you this. See, the dinerets come in two sizes too. And depending on the guitar, smaller guitar, I prefer to use the big one. And usually my classicals and my dreadnoughts, I prefer to use the smaller one. So you know, not everything's the same. And our captive audience, See, she's wetting her lips because she's going, you know, pick. That makes sense. So happy plucking, me. I hope that helps. And uh, if any of you find a peg, she's still not returned home. We miss her because she sure looks good in that blueprint blue. Happy plucking.